Hi, I'm Layo Adeguki. Here's your Channel TV Evening News Recap for December the 22nd, 2021. Nigeria has confirmed 2,123 new COVID-19 infections from 10 states and the FCT. This is according to the latest figures released by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC. The new data from the NCDC is the highest daily case tally in the country since January the 27th, 2021, bringing the total number of infection recorded in the country to 227,378. Still on COVID-19, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, alongside the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, has destroyed 1,066,214 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. They were destroyed today at the Gosa dumping site in Abuja. According to the Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye, the decision followed series of testing processes. The Senate today passed the 2022 budget of 17.126 trillion naira as against the 16.391 trillion naira as presented by the President. The approved amount of 17.126 trillion is the same figure earlier passed by the House of Representatives. The sum of 3.8 trillion is for debt servicing. 6.9 trillion for non-recurrent debt expenditure, while 5.4 trillion is earmarked for capital expenditure. On the international scene, the death toll from a shipwreck off Madagascar's northeastern coast has risen to at least 64 after 25 more bodies were discovered. And in sports, the African football chief Patrice Mosepe has confirmed that the Africa Cup of Nations, AFCON, will go ahead as planned in Cameroon next month, despite the Omicron variant-led surge in COVID-19 cases. Mosepe gave the green lights to the AFCON, originally due to be staged in 2020, as a talks with Cameroonian President Paul Bia on Tuesday. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us later for fresh updates. I'm Layo Adegoki. Thank you for watching.